Seed to the Sower, by Jim McKendrick. In 1945, a group of men met together in England to discuss the need for a publication that would endeavor to emphasize that aspect of truth known as church truth. Out of this concern there arose a magazine called Precious Seed which was published bi-monthly. This magazine has continued to the present, with timely articles written by men recognized for their ability to teach the Word of God in a clear manner. In 1970, their 25th anniversary, they published a book called Church Doctrine and Practice. Its content was a compilation of reprints of articles from the first 25 years of the magazine and grouped together in a systematic fashion. This brought together in one book the essence of all the teaching. There is very little in print on this important body of truth today. I have a good number of books on my bookshelf but unfortunately they are all out of print. If you want a fine overview of church truth, this book should be in your hands. The good response to this book encouraged the Precious Seed Committee to venture into the field of book publishing. Over the years, they have added other books which have been a real help to many of God's people on both sides of the Atlantic. Their second book was a symposium on Bible doctrine in general. It is a storehouse of solid expository teaching which should be in the hands of all young believers. I have given both of these books to a number of young believers as a concise, accurate, and readable source of foundational truths to be learned and practiced. Since then, they have brought out three devotional books. Day by Day Through the Old Testament, Day by Day Through the New Testament, and Day by Day Through the Psalms. Each of these volumes, while a daily devotional book, is unlike many devotionals in that each has a solid exposition of the passage as well as a practical application to the daily life of the reader. Proper application and proper walk is a result of a proper understanding of the scriptures. Fluff may give a nice emotional tug for the moment, but growth in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ comes from a solid understanding of the text. It is this solid exposition that makes these books outstanding. The book on the Psalms is divided into twelve different themes and the Psalms are arranged in this manner. There are, of course, duplication of some of the Psalms under different themes and commented on by different authors. This only enhances the richness of the book. This was my first introduction to their devotional books. I was impressed by the solid exposition and practical application. It helped me study each psalm and meditate on it, thus helping me assimilate the truths into daily living.